First, I want to thank uh, all the media for being here today, and especially thank our, our, our sheriff, Mike Wood, and for the partnership that we have with him with our school resource officers program, uh, the longest withstanding one in the entire state of Florida. And I think it's great that we have this type of relationship. You know, we're coming up on spring break and uh, safety is our number one priority. And we want to make sure that as a school system that we remind our students to be safe during spring break. And that safety again is something that is so important. And it takes an entire community working together to make sure that we keep our community safe. We have a lot of students that will be traveling. They go visit family. Some even go to the beach. And a lot of times, one of the things that, that does concern me that I've learned over my 10 years of experience is sometimes our, our students think they're invincible. Yeah, I think it uh, goes to talk about the education that we have in Leon County, and we continue to remind our students at all times of the year, but especially leading up to spring break, to be mindful of the decisions you make and make sure that you're thinking it through and to, say, to stay safe at all times. At this time, I'd like to introduce uh, Sheriff Mike Wood, and as he's coming forward, I want to thank him for his great leadership in this community and how he has uh, partnered with the Leon County School System on everything we're doing. And thank him for the great school resource officers that he puts into our school to protect our children every day. Sheriff Wood. Well, first of all, thank you to Superintendent Pons and to the Leon County Schools. As a lifelong resident, I've been a benefactor as a student and as a parent of students in the Leon County school system. So, you know, today we're talking about the most valuable commodity we have, and it's our children. And so Superintendent Pons and his staff, in concert with the Sheriff's Office, do a phenomenal job all year round to make our physical campuses safe. But today's a little unique to that. The statistics say that they're going to be fine, and it never happens to us until it happens to us. And then as law enforcement, you know, we have seen the tragedies, the outcomes of bad decisions, and they're irreversible. And, and just remember that, you know, you never really think it's going to happen to you or your friends until it does. And then as law enforcement and as school, school leaders, we've seen the tragedy and the aftermath of bad decisions. So my message to our student body in Leon County today is please be safe, look out for one another and make good decisions. And once again, thank you for the privilege. I think one of the, one of the strong points with, with Leon County Schools is our connection with our local law enforcement agencies and, and, and all of our community partners to keep our students safe, to keep our children safe, uh, whether it's spring break or not. But right now we focus on spring break. I think the most important thing I've been looking at when I, whenever I've gone on spring break uh, vacation and whatnot um, is kind of doing something that your parents would um, tell a child to do. Um, so always keep those, those uh, actions in mind. But make sure that you follow the same rules that you generally follow on the weekend as well as during the weekdays because we don't want anyone to uh, find themselves in a situation where something occurs that puts them in a situation where they lose their life or they injure themselves. We have to communicate to our students, and we need our students communicating to our students because they look up to each other. They communicate differently than we do. Do what we do as we say, turn up. And I know that we're very excited and we all want to turn up, but when we turn up, we must be safe when doing it. And I know you've heard it from the superintendent and the sheriff and all of our principals behind me and your teachers and of course your parents, but you're hearing it from me someone who's your peer, someone who's your age, and someone who's been representing students. And I want you to know that it is very important that we all stay safe. Spring break is one week, one week out of your life. And it's not worth, you know, getting hurt or even losing your life or endangering others. Well, it's very important because during spring break, we'll have a lot of students that'll be traveling, uh, a lot go to the beach, some go to visit family members, and we want to make sure that they're safe and that they think about what they're getting ready to do, where they are. Good rule of thumb, I like to think, what, what would Pat want me to do? Pat is my grandmother. <laughs> that's, not a, that's not a bad idea. And Pat is fantastic, and I believe that she's very proud of her grandson, and I like to keep it that way. Well, always remember, like, your grandmother is looking. 
not just your parents, but your grandparents. It's a, it's a different kind of shame even with your grandparents. But if you keep that in mind, it helps you. It's sort of like that person sitting on your shoulder. They're there to relax and release. And a lot of times when you don't have something that you're really kind of keeping in the back of your mind, you tend to either get yourself involved or you make choices that you otherwise wouldn't make. What would your grandma do? Your grandma wouldn't do anything crazy? Or how would your parents feel? If your parents, you know, my parents always tell me, if you wouldn't want me to see what you're doing, and if you wouldn't do it when I'm right there with you, then why do it? Don't do it. At this time, I would like to introduce the public service announcement and to play it for you so you can see it and see what superstars we have as principals have done a great job with this and see what you think. Hello, I'm Superintendent Jackie Pons. I want all of our students to have a relaxing spring break, but please remember the following safety tips. Never leave valuable items in plain view in your car. Be careful, be smart, and use good judgment. Don't text and drive. Stay in a group and always have a safety plan. Make sure to stay hydrated and wear plenty of sunscreen. And always make sure to buckle up. Enjoy your time off, but stay safe on spring break.